name is Corey Nicolick. I'm with First Tactical, and this is the V2 pant. In approaching the V2 tactical pant, how do we take the tactical out of the pant? We needed all those necessary features to keep it a tool, but we wanted to redefine it so it looked cleaner in the marketplace. We took out a lot of the excess bar tacks and excess stitching that everybody else uses and put them in just the areas that you need. Most tactical pants out there are overbuilt, overconstructed with a lot of fashion detail. We've really reduced the signature on it, creating a pant that is like a chino and a tactical pant put together, and this is the offspring. It's a tactical pant that looks great on duty. The V2 tactical pant has a full 360 degree stretch waist extending all the way around. The waistband utilizes mechanical stretch fabric. It starts and ends at the snap, so you feel that stretch all the way around your waist. We don't rely on gimmicks to give you the stretch you need in specialized areas, creating extra bulk or thickness. Those gimmicks really don't work because they give you isolated stretch movement. This stretches all the way around. There are seven belt loops on this pant. Each belt loop is fortified, so it's not gonna curl on you. There's a membrane on the inside, so it's gonna look nice throughout the duration of the product, but also it's gonna stay stable with everything laced on your belt. Each belt loop, four bar tacks, keeping them well connected to the pant. The three, the six, and the nine o'clock belt loops are very important. They are connected directly onto these hard triple stitch seams means that you have anything heavy in your pocket, it's gonna stay connected to your belt and any hard movements in the very back is not gonna rip out. The width of the belt loop, also very important. You don't want them too thin or too thick. Too thin means they're gonna rip out. Too thick means that you can't put your gear in the right location. The back pocket, we took a little different approach. Most pockets have back flaps. After talking with many operators, we took the back pocket flap off. If you think about it, back pocket flaps, two pieces of Velcro, means that it's difficult. Three points of retention to get into that pocket. A lot of times you just wanna use that as a quick dump pocket, so that's what we did. Kept that open in the back, fortified the top edge so that it's easy to get in and out, and it's nice and deep, so anything you put in there makes it easy as a quick use pocket, or if you are keeping something back there, it stays down deep. This pant has appropriate construction. Triple stitch where it needs to be double stitch and single stitch and hidden stitching. So it is a refined tool for you. We really try to take that visual aesthetic and bring it down to a minimum, keeping a low profile looking pant. In the past, how did people approach this? Add more bar tacks, add cordura in the knees, add molly platform in the back three corner panel, add pocket on pocket on pocket construction. It's almost like they took a three-day backpack disassembled and reassembled into a pair of pants, not this. This is a, an appropriate tool that looks good in the field, that will work with you. So consider this a great looking tool that you wear on your body. The front hand pocket, probably the most important pocket on this pant, has the right angle to it. So we've really studied, it's not too far upright, it's not too far down, so it keeps things from rolling out of your pocket. And we've also reinforced it all the way up so that gloved or ungloved hand, you can get your hand in nice and deep set so that things not a shallow pocket. And on the back side, in case you do keep a tool on this pocket, it is reinforced with Cordura all on that back side. So you're not going to wear a hole in it. And we put it from the back side, not the front side. If you look at the geometry on your knife, your knife has G10 on the handle. So the hole starts from the inside and wears the hole to the outside. It's not the other way around, so we don't put Cordura on the outside, creating a different look. It's all on the inside. We attack the problem from where it starts, not from where it ends. The utility pocket, or mag pocket, is a standard feature on all tactical pants. We've upgraded ours. Reinforcement on the top, so it's easy to get things in and out. It's not gonna curl on you. We have a small opening here we call the clip garage, so that if you don't prefer to carry your knife in your hand pocket, you can go ahead and slide it into your cargo pocket. Take that clip, lace it through the hole. That is our clip garage, keeping it away from snag points, seat belts, web gear, and also protects the environment. If you're walking by your rig, you don't want to put a nice scratch in there because of the clip. About a quarter of an inch larger, so that newer technologies, larger PMAGs, larger cell phones, are gonna fit inside that pocket. The cargo pocket is rear set 
That front edge, very important moving through environment. We don't want to have any catch points, and especially on those pleats on the front. We took all those pleats off the front, keeping a snag-free facade, and it looks a little bit more neat, clean, and professional. The billow is only at the very bottom, so it expands out just what you need. The cargo pocket flap we've re-engineered. We fortified the structure of it, so when you're using it, it's gonna look good. It's also gonna stand up on its own. The hook and loop set on the miter so that it's not gonna dog ear. We've kept all those open edges down closed tight to the pocket itself. And because of the construction of the rear set pocket, it makes it so that this pocket flap will tuck in and creates a utility pocket or dump pocket for your duty needs. This pant has four lanyard loops. We have two up in the hand pockets, one on each side, ambidextrous, and two in the cargo pockets, a little bit lower, also ambidextrous. Simply open up the pocket and take your favorite key fob. This is located in all of our backpacks and bags and clip that right into place. And then it always hangs in your pocket so that it's not gathering on the very bottom. Also perfect for door openers or IDs, those special things that you wanna make sure that are not lifted off your person. They're always in a secure location. On the inside of the cargo pocket, we have two organizer pockets. The main thing that is kept in these pockets, PMAGs. So we designed this pocket specifically to house these two items perfectly. So square at the bottom without any rounded corners, square at the top so it fully encloses. That gusset at the bottom makes it perfect as a one inch deep cargo pocket with full closure. So it keeps that cargo pocket looking neat, clean and professional. It's not gonna squirrel out on you. Even a small detail like the logo we've thought about, this is a uniform. If you need to pop the logo off, no problem. Pop a stitch and the whole thing comes off. It's not set into a side seam, making it difficult to remove. This pair of pants has been constructed with one piece of fabric from top to bottom without any pattern breaks. That's unusual for a pair of tactical pants. Usually there's breaks here in the knees. And that's important not to have that. One, it actually increases the stretch around the top of the knee where you need it. And secondly, it gives you a neat, clean, professional appearance on the front of this uniform. So that knee pad pocket is actually set from the back side, not from the top. So again, neat, clean, and professional, appropriate for a uniform. And if you need to put a military crease in here, no problem, easy to do. If you use knee pads, we have a great approach to the knee pad pocket. Ours is octagon shape. We have two sharp corners on the top and bottom that interacts with our specifically designed first tactical knee pad, two sharp corners on the top and bottom. When you slip this in through those internal openings, it locks into place geometrically so this knee pad is not gonna move around. The knee in this pant is articulated. It's already set into performance position. We don't attack that problem from the front. We attack it from the backside. Keeps the front of the pant professional and the back of the pant tactical. A little bit like a mullet, but in a good way. Okay, bad joke. But we key that out, bend that leg about 10 degrees so it's set in that perfect performance position for you. On the bottom of this pant, there are two holes located on the outside of the seam. These are specifically designed for blousing. Run a 550 cord strap through there, go ahead and cinch those up depending on uniform needs or the environment keeps all those creepy crawlies out. And they're located on the outside so you don't get extra braid on the inside of the leg. One of the most important features on this pant is the running gusset. Most tactical pants have a diamond gusset that's eight inches distributing that pressure. Those still have a tendency of blowing out from time to time. We went the extra step and went 24 inches. That 24 inches really distributes all that pressure throughout, so any heavy activity you have is gonna prevent those blowouts. The pant opening has a snap closure. This snap is a prim snap, top of the line German snap. They regulate all of our factories on how to set the snap, and with our high QC standards, it ensures that this snap is gonna stay set with high pressure, high tension, throughout the life of the product, keeping that closure closed. The zipper is a YKK zipper, Japanese top of the line. It is locking, so in that down position, it's not gonna open up. It is oversized so that even with a gloved hand, I can grab that zipper pull without an issue. This pant has a secondary closure. On the inside, besides the snap, has a melamine button. It keeps the front of the pant looking flat 
And because of the material of the product, it is melamine. Melamine is a break resistant product so that it matches the quality of the fabric ensuring a long life. In case you are hanging these pants up in a locker, there's that locker hook. That locker hook is sharp and you don't want to hang your pants on it. So we've added actually a locker loop so that you don't get that sharp hook going through and creating that protrusion in the back of your fabric and the back of your pants. This keeps it nice and flat. If you like labeling your product, we have the perfect location for it located in the very back of the pant on the back pocket that we have a white tab that keeps pant and shirt together in sets so that they look great over the life of the product. So the culmination of these features creates the V2 tactical pant. We are confident this is going to be a great addition to your personal gear or for your department. So thank you for the consideration and be safe out there.